In this video, I'm going to talk about how you can use ChatGPT for qualitative data analysis. Because ChatGPT, it's awesome at crunching large amounts of data and then summarizing it for you. And then you can ask it questions and get really valuable insights. Now, the best way for me to show you this is by way of example. And I've got one recently that I've just gone ahead and surveyed my database. And I know this is going to get a little bit meta because I'm going to be explaining how to use ChatGPT with an example of survey data where I was asking my list about ChatGPT. But if you stick with me, I think this is going to be a great example. So let me just give you a little bit of the backstory here. I sent an email out to the database saying, hey, I'm looking to run a ChatGPT training and let me know some things that you would be interested in. Now when they clicked this and landed on the thank you page there are a series of questions for them to answer. Things like what are the top two questions you have about ChatGPT, what is your biggest challenge when it comes to ChatGPT and so on. What would make this a no-brainer and what would mean that we would basically go above and beyond. From that, I then had all of that data piped into a Google Sheet just here. And you can see literally 150 or more people responded to this with a huge amount of data, which is fantastic, but there's a lot of data to crunch there. So I wanna use ChatGPT to help us out here. So the first thing I'm going to do is head over to ChatGPT and you're going to need the paid version for what I'm going to show you. I'm going to flick it to ChatGPT4 because you'll need access to the plugin area because I've got this link reader that I'm activating here. So that's an extra little thing you'll need to grab. So what I'm going to do is use a few prompts that I've pre-written here. So I'm going to go ahead and paste this in. I have a survey with some data. Can you please read it and tell me what this survey is about? Now I can grab this and I'll also grab the link to our Google Doc. Need to make sure that the permissions are set so it can be viewed. But I'm just going to go ahead and let it do its thing. Now once you can see, it starts to publishing everything out here. And the survey appears to be about ChatGPT and then it moves in here to some of the key themes that emerge from the responses. So it's crunched all of that data and it is now telling me what the themes are, some of the challenges, some of the desired features from the training, concerns. Now I'll go a step further and ask it some other questions here. Now you saw the spreadsheet itself. I'm gonna ask it now to summarize all of the questions and pick the top three answers for each. And we'll just do that. Sure, the top three. Okay, so for the question, what are your top two questions about ChatGPT? We've got how to effectively utilize ChatGPT to automate business processes, how to formulate the best prompts to get the desired output, how to use ChatGPT for content creation and marketing. Some of the challenges people have is overcoming the guardrails and limitations of ChatGPT. Obviously things like up-to-date information and remembering and formulating the best prompts and then keeping up-to-date with the changes. Now, what's the thing that would make this training amazing? practical real life examples and demonstrations, what I'm showing now, step-by-step -step guides and templates. And I won't go into all of this, but you can already start to see how powerful this is. You could trawl through that spreadsheet and eyeball it. And I've literally loaded it in here. And in about 20 seconds, I have some tremendous insights here. The takeaways here is using some of the plugins can really take ChatGPT to the next level. So as I talked about using version four and then also enabling the plugins. Also the data that you feed into ChatGPT is incredibly important. The model is really smart, but if you can then feed it with your data, you will get next level responses. And then you also want to make sure that you're specific in your requests. So let's go ahead and take this a step further. And here's another prompt I've written. 
I'm gonna say, I'm looking to run a webinar to answer all of these questions and challenges. Can you please write the copy for the landing page? Okay, and then we'll just ask it. Now it's gonna go away and names it Mastering ChatGPT for Business, Unlock the Power of AI, What You'll Learn, and we've got Demystifying ChatGPT, Overcoming Challenges, Practical Demonstrations, Step-by-Step -step Guides, Going Above and Beyond, and Why You Should Join. So you can already see this data here. Now, is this something that you would just cut and paste? Probably not. It's a great starting point though. If you're curious to know what landing page I ended up creating off the back of this data, I basically took that data and then I used some human smarts to go through and get it on a web page, make sure it looks beautiful, cover all of the points. This was the final output page, which is over at systemology.com forward slash chat GPT webinar. Now, depending on when you're watching this video, you might even consider joining the training. Either way, I hope that this has helped to give you some insight in how you can use ChatGPT for qualitative data analysis and how it can speed up the work that you do. I make videos like this all the time. So if you like it, make sure that you give it the thumbs up, go ahead and subscribe, and no doubt I'll catch you in the next video. Thank you.